Proctor's Ledge? What the hell is that? It's where the Salem witches were hung. Back in the day. Back in the day. Welcome to Waxing Moon Witches. Hello. And we're live at Proctor's Ledge in Salem. <laughs> I'm Lynn. I'm Stephanie. And we thought we'd show you this little place since we live right around here. All hidden, hidden away. Mm -hmm. So this is Proctor's Ledge. Well, this is the actual memorial. And we're going to bring you around. There are plaques for each of the um, accused, people, witches. accused witches that were hanged. We start with Bridget Bishop. And then we have Sarah Good. Elizabeth Howe, Susanna Martin, Rebecca Nurse, probably one of the most well-known accused witches. Aside from Bridget, Bridget Bishop. Yep. Then we have Sarah Wilds, Reverend George Burroughs, Martha Carrier, George Jacobs Sr., John Proctor, who is the namesake for this memorial. And we'll tell you why. John Willard, Martha Corey, Mary Esty, Alice Parker, Mary Parker, Anne P, because we cannot pronounce her last name and we don't want to be dis disrespectful, <laughs> Wilmot Red, Margaret Scott, and Sam Wardwell. So those were the 19 individuals that were hanged. Giles Corey was also executed, but he was, he was pressed, to death. pressed to death by stones. So... <clears throat> Me. This is what happens when you're outside. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, <laughs> um, so that's why he's not here. He was executed in a different area, though technically they were still trying to get him to confess. He was and, not convicted at that. And there point is a time. memorial for him in a different part of Salem. Yes. So now we're going to walk over to Proctor's Ledge, which is actually up behind us. There's that hill. Um, so we're going to have to walk around, and we will meet you up there. And here we are at We're back. Proctor's Ledge. We're back. So this is the entrance to Proctor's Ledge. Come on with us and we'll show you. So I'm going to turn you around so you can see we're actually in a residential neighborhood. It's kind of a strange area. It's not in the middle of everything else that's in Salem if you were to come and visit. Um, but you feel it's, like you're walking in someone's yard. And it's very hidden. Yes, it is. And in fact, originally this is not where they thought the witches were hung, or the accused were hung. I shouldn't say witches. The accused were hung. They thought it was at Gallows Park, which is across the street that way. And hence the name, Gallows Hill Park. And then after looking at the historical record, they were able to determine that this was the actual place where the hangings took place. So this, that giant rock there, is part of what helped them realized that this was the right spot to be in because the historical records talk about people remembering the witches being hung or the accused being hung at a, a hill that had giant boulders and there was a crevice in between some of the boulders which is not here now because there are houses all around us as you can see in the background and but that was where they threw the bodies because they were accused as witches and found guilty in their time um, they were not allowed Christian burials, sadly. Mm -hmm. So, this is Proctor's Ledge. We'll walk a little bit further so you can see some more. But right now, we are in a tree circle. Ooh, sorry, yeah, Prisa. It is a circle of trees that we're standing in the center of, which has really interesting energy, wouldn't you say? It really does, yes. It's definitely... Um, an energy focal point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell that there's sadness. You can tell that there's something mm -hmm. tragic happened here, mm -hmm. and you can you can just feel it. Yeah, it just feels like today it doesn't feel too bad, but there's definitely energy. You can you can feel that for sure. Yeah, there's been days that we've been here, mm -hmm. and it's like oh. Yes, the first time we came here, I got nauseous. Yes, yeah, because the energy was so strong. It wasn't negative energy. It was just very strong energy. Agreed. And the sadness was a little overwhelming. Yeah, you. But. Yeah, we had to like take a time out after yeah. that. Yeah, we did. So just be forewarned if you're sensitive to that 
it might be a little overwhelming, but you might be totally fine as well. Certainly worth visiting. Though. And as you know, you always cloak yourself in white mm -hmm. light and you're fine. Yep, just ground a little, yep. you'll be fine. Yeah. So let's walk a little more through here. So this is a really nice area, um, but it is very residential. The first time we came here, we were worried we were walking in someone's yard. <laughs> yep. And there was a lovely gentleman who lives next door. Such a sweetheart. He was. And he showed us where the memorial was, which was good because you would never ever find it no, if you didn't it, know. Honestly, if you didn't know where it was, you'd drive right by it or mm -hmm. walk right by it. Yeah. So the entrance is on one side of the of the land. It's kind of like a triangular piece of land. And then the memorial is on the other side, and there's no entrance to Proctor's Ledge from that side. So it's it's strange the way it's set up, but yep. that's what it is. And we basically walked down this giant hillside and mm -hmm. almost tumbled, you know, <laughs> yep. passed yep. over tea kettle. It happens, but yep. it's all right. Yep. All the days work of being a witch. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So behind us is more of Proctor's Ledge. As you can see, the rocks. This is what was described by the eyewitnesses who were here. And the reason it's called Proctor's Ledge is for some very special trees that are here. And let's see if maybe we can walk over and show you some of them. Okay, so here we are. These are the trees we were telling you about. This is one of them. This is called a black locust tree. And John Proctor's relatives planted about 50 of these uh, in memory of him because this was his land, like we said. And as you can see, they have a very unique bark texture. Very deeply ribbed, very... Um... It's, it looks like something out of a horror movie, I'll be honest it with you. It really but does. It's, but it's really has some great energy. Um, there's a lot of fairy holes mm -hmm. in the tree itself. I mean, if you really look at this tree, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in it. Mm -hmm. and, energe and energetically, it feels pretty good. It does. They're beautiful trees. It's, mm -hmm. It was a nice way to memorialize him. Agreed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So behind us is a fence, and that is... I guess the border um, of this little park area. Um, and there's trees right down here. These are more of the black locust trees. There's a couple other ones in here, but mostly that is what they are. Um, down by the street is where the memorial is. So it is on the opposite side of Proctor's Ledge itself. So thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. This is our little excursion to Proctor's Ledge. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the leave them below. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to talking to you. And signing off for Maxing Room Witches, mm -hmm. this is Stephanie and Lynn. Yep. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye-bye.